Fever, chills, shortness of breath, fatigue, body aches, headaches, vomiting. Wow, sounds like the symptoms of COVID-19, but actually it's Lyme disease. And this year is expected to be an exceptionally bad year for ticks. One team, though, is on a mission to educate, track, and cure this life-altering disease. This is a good day for 15-year-old Olivia Goodrow, but not every day is a good day. We call those Lyme days where I wake up and I feel awful again. Since the second grade, Olivia has lived in pain. I started to lose my vision and I couldn't physically hold up my head and I had a tremor in my right hand. She could barely walk. It took 51 doctors and 18 months to get a diagnosis. I never saw the tick and I never had a bullseye rash. That same tick that gave Olivia Lyme disease gave her five other diseases. I have Lyme disease, Bartonella, Babesia, POT syndrome, relapsing fever, and an anti-1 trypsone deficiency. Her doctor says Lyme disease is often misdiagnosed as chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, lupus, multiple sclerosis, and even dementia. But there is one telltale sign. You have migratory muscle pain or migratory nerve pain, tingling, numbness, burning, stabbing. That is the hallmark of Lyme. Olivia was on a whopping 86 pills a day. Her treatments cost more than $150,000. That's why Olivia started the Live Lime Foundation. I realized that I couldn't just sit around and like do nothing. Since 2017, Live Lime has awarded 49 grants as well as raised research funds for three of the top Lyme disease doctors. Olivia has now developed a free app tick tracker that lets users report tick sightings in real time, hoping that everything she does now will spare another child from living with Lyme. Well, Olivia also helped pass a $150 million bill called the Kay Hagan Tick Act that President Trump signed last year. Kay Hagan passed away from complications from Lyme disease. The Tick Act takes a comprehensive approach to address Lyme disease and other tick and vector-borne diseases. Bruce?